It's ironic how SpaceX, a company that's relatively new to the space scene, has overtaken giants like Russia's Roscosmos and Boeing, one of the oldest aerospace companies. It's rare for a private company to outperform well-established government and corporate entities, but here we are. SpaceX has become the most dominant force in the aerospace industry in just two decades. This rise is especially surprising given that it has outpaced competitors with bigger budgets and more experience. Recently, SpaceX has once again made headlines by outshining these traditional aerospace giants with its innovations. Before we go further, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates on SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements and much more. Boeing and Russia's Roscosmos have been significant players in space technology for decades, with notable contributions to human spaceflight. Roscosmos has operated the Soyuz spacecraft since the 1960s, a reliable vehicle for missions to the International Space Station and earlier space stations. While highly successful, the Soyuz program does not incorporate modern advancements like reusability, which limits its cost efficiency compared to newer spacecraft. On the other side, Boeing's Starliner aims to modernize U.S. capabilities in space with a craft designed for reusability. However, the Starliner has also encountered numerous setbacks, including a significant software malfunction during its first uncrewed test flight in December 2019 that prevented it from docking with the International Space Station. These issues have led to delays and increased the project's budget significantly. According to NASA's funding allocations, over $4.3 billion has been invested in the development of Starliner, surpassing initial cost estimates. In contrast, SpaceX entered the space industry in 2002 and quickly established itself with the Dragon spacecraft. SpaceX's approach, focusing on reusability, has significantly disrupted traditional models. The spacecraft was developed under a fixed-price contract with NASA, estimated at around $2.6 billion. SpaceX's Crew Dragon has achieved impressive milestones, including launching the first crewed mission from U.S. soil since 2011 with the Demo-2 mission in May 2020. After the space shuttle program ended in 2011, the United States had no means to launch astronauts from its territory, relying on Russia's Roscosmos to ferry astronauts to the International Space Station. During this period, NASA depended on purchasing seats on the Soyuz spacecraft, with costs around $90 million per seat by 2020. This arrangement significantly increased NASA's expenses and funneled substantial funds to Russia every year. SpaceX changed this with the development of the Crew Dragon spacecraft. Financially, SpaceX's involvement in crewed space missions presented significant savings for NASA. The company received about $2.6 billion under NASA's commercial crew program to develop Crew Dragon and conduct multiple missions. This fixed-price contract was more cost-effective compared to the higher costs NASA incurred with Roscosmos. The seat cost for SpaceX's initial missions is estimated to be much lower than the $90 million NASA was paying to Russia per seat. It's not just about cost, but also reusability and safety. In 2023, they conducted a total of 96 Falcon launches, which included both the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. This was a record-setting pace compared to previous years. The company plans to accelerate this pace even further in 2024, targeting 148 launches. As of early 2024, SpaceX had already completed 40 launches, maintaining a 100% success rate. However, the Dragon spacecrafts are not without their challenges. Despite their advanced design and capabilities, issues such as corrosion in the oxidizer valves of the Draco thrusters have been a significant concern. These valves are crucial for the maneuverability of the spacecraft. Although SpaceX has reached numerous milestones with its Falcon family of rockets and Dragon spacecraft, the company is not planning long-term goals for these systems. Instead, SpaceX's future efforts are increasingly focused on the Starship rocket, a multi-purpose spacecraft that promises to revolutionize space travel. The decision to develop another rocket system, despite the success of the Falcon rockets, is driven by Starship's design to be fully reusable. 
This includes both its Super Heavy booster and the spacecraft itself, which is a step beyond the partial reusability of the Falcon rockets. Starship stands out not only for its full reusability, but also for its massive payload capacity and scale. It aims to support a payload capacity exceeding 100 metric tons to Earth orbit, dwarfing the Falcon Heavy's capacity, which is around 64 metric tons to low Earth orbit. In terms of power, Starship's Super Heavy booster is equipped with 33 Raptor engines, generating a thrust capable of lifting significant payloads and large numbers of passengers into space. This power far exceeds that of the Falcon Heavy, which is powered by 27 Merlin engines on its first stage. In addition, Starship has an impressive height of approximately 120 meters, making it the largest rocket ever constructed and about twice the height of the Falcon Heavy. This size allows Starship to have large internal volumes suited for long-duration missions to destinations like Mars. One of the most striking capabilities of Starship is its potential to carry up to 100 people on missions to Mars. Moreover, Starship is designed to support a wide range of missions, from satellite deployment to interplanetary missions and potentially commercial space travel and space tourism. One of the innovative features of Starship is its ability to be refueled in orbit. This capability is crucial for enabling long-duration missions to distant destinations like Mars. In-space refueling will allow Starship to carry enough resources for the journey back to Earth or further into the solar system. SpaceX is intensively testing prototypes of the Starship at their Boca Chica, Texas facility. They have already conducted three orbital test flights of its Starship rocket and is actively preparing for the next one. The first orbital test flight took place on April 20, 2023, and ended in the destruction of the vehicle just minutes after liftoff, failing to reach orbit. This was due to multiple issues, including some engines not performing as expected, which led to significant damage to the launch pad itself. The second test flight occurred on November 18, 2023. This flight aimed to demonstrate improvements in new systems, such as a hot stage separation, where Starship's engines ignite while still attached to the booster. The mission reached a near-orbital trajectory and completed a controlled re-entry over the ocean. Despite not reaching full orbit, this test marked a progression from the first with the booster performing its tasks more successfully, but ultimately being destroyed during the boost backburn due to a propellant filter blockage. The third test flight, conducted on March 14, 2024, finally achieved orbit, a significant milestone for the program. However, SpaceX lost contact with the Starship during its re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere, suggesting that the vehicle likely broke apart or burned up. The Super Heavy booster used in this test was also lost during its return to Earth, experiencing an explosion. The fourth test flight of SpaceX's Starship is targeted for May 2024. This upcoming flight is set to showcase several enhancements and changes from the previous tests. Notably, the flight aims to include improved procedures and technologies that build on the experiences and data gathered from the earlier missions. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.